Used the right way, predictive analytics can actually become prescriptive, essentially giving fleet managers the power to turn the future they'd like to see into a reality. Predictive analytics are going to change the way fleet managers work. Uh, for a lot of years, everybody's been sort of doing the uh, rearview mirror, uh, analyzing what's already happened. Predictive analytics is going to be looking at the future and how to change things. And it's going to be not just predictive analytics, but it's going to be pres prescriptive analytics, where it's not just going to be the future, but how can I make the future happen? Uh, the fleet manager nowadays is getting lots of data from a lot of different sources, whether it's telematics, field card, uh, different other forms of data, and the key is what type of data is important and, and how to filter that. And I think the, the whole advent of predictive analytics is going to create the need for additional scrutiny about turning data into meaningful information to make predictions on accident rates. For an example, sad to say, but we still have 35 million people who die each year on the roads. We have 10 million accidents, we have 2 million injuries. The rate of accidents have, has not gone materially below 20% in years and years and years. There's opportunities now to actually change behaviors and make those changes predictive as to reduce. Uh, it, there's all sorts of telematics information that can uh, change how you manage a fleet, uh, how to be more cost savings, and this is all driven by, I think, just a lot of pl a plethora of information uh, that will make us much more predictive and I think will make the fleet manager's job that much more powerful.